yields. Gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Mr. Chair, I yield three minutes to the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Donald. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So often said in this chamber, I didn't anticipate debating, but as I sit on the floor and listening to some of the things coming from uh, the Democrats about this bill, a lot of it's just simply not true. The Democrats are accusing us of providing funds and slush funds to big oil. But in the very Inflation Reduction Act that they passed on a partisan basis, mind you, last, last Congress, there's $20 billion in that bill that goes to the green energy, I don't know, environment slush fund. That stuff, the EPA is already saying, Mr. Speaker, that that $20 billion is being basically earmarked for a handful of special interests that the American people know, have no idea about. The Democrats want to lecture us about making sure that we stop the polluters, but their own energy plan actually empowers the biggest polluters on the planet, and that is China. It is China that mines for all the minerals for electric batteries, and China does not care about emission standards. The Democrats have no problem empowering China when it comes to mineral production. They have no, power, no problem empowering China when it comes to oil production. They just want to limit it here in the United States. This is the same backwards thinking that the Europeans have realized in the face of Putin's aggression in Ukraine. It was all good to let Russia drill as long as Europe didn't drill. Folks, that does not work when it comes to energy production. HR1 brings common sense back to America's energy matrix. It's an all of the above strategy. And listen, I'm a member who has some, some issues, but I'm voting for the legislation because it is far more important to put America in first position when it comes to energy exploration on the globe as opposed to funding these Green New Deal think tanks and these Green New Deal energy consortiums that haven't proven that they can deliver base load power to address the needs of the American people. We have an energy problem, that is true. And our energy problem starts first with having cheap and readily available energy for poor Americans, middle-income Americans, small business owners, medium-sized business owners, and yes, even the people who are wealthy among us. Our economy thrives with a, with a robust energy matrix, not one divided up based upon special interests from the left. That does not work. What works is actually using tried and true energy production standards, and by the way, when we drill for natural gas and explore for natural gas and oil here in America, we do it cleaner than anywhere else in the globe. We do it better than anywhere else in the globe, so much so that people want to import it from us. That sounds like a quality plan for America, not the dogma from the Democrats. I've been hearing the talking points all week. Polluters over people? That's a joke. The only people who are putting interest over people are the Democrats with their faulty energy policy. It must stop. We have to put Americans first. Support H.R. 1. I yield back. Gentleman's time has expired. Gentleman from Ohio is recognized.